would you guys believe me if I told you that that whole intro section was recorded without an amplifier? And now would you guys believe me if I told you that it was all recorded direct from a pedal that costs at the moment less than $100? Today we are going to be checking out the Flammer FZ07 Cab. So it's a cab simulator, but it is feature rich. Like seriously, I've played a couple of cab simulator pedals that are you know, twice as expensive as this, and this has twice the amount of features, really. It's a stereo pedal, and it has two parallel cab signal paths inside of here. Each that we have control of individually. So say we want the left signal to be a, I don't know, a Fender Deluxe cab, and the right signal to be a Vox AC30 cab. Easy, easy with the flammer. Or say you want the left side to be a Mesa Boogie, 4x12 monster and then the right side to be maybe a basement 4x10. You can still do that and I'm sure it would sound interesting but still pretty good. FS07 gives you 11 different cab models, from all the ones I mentioned before to a few more Fender type ones and a few other 4x12s and some, much, some more interesting ones in there as well. With an interesting selection of controls, two of which are super useful, which are the low cut and high cut, I found quite a lot of the cab models in here to be pretty low heavy, so I've kind of been cutting the low end on most of the cab models. A latency knob, which is an interesting choice for me. In a studio environment, you know, I've not found a use for it. 99% of the time I've been running it with latency all the way down. My only guess is that maybe in a live situation you want to, maybe if you're running into some phasing issues, maybe you want to increase that latency ever so slightly to reduce those. Alternatively, it can give you a really interesting chorusing, doubling type effect when maxed out. I think it's something like zero to 25 milliseconds. So it is really subtle and it is kind of just for fine tuning, you know, maybe like I said, a bit of a chorusing effect or reducing some of those phasing issues. Seven onboard presets, which is pretty crazy. We Obviously we can edit and create them with the pedal, but this pedal also comes with the really in-depth computer editor um, that basically makes it easier to edit your presets, organize your presets. And I also think it gives you uh, the opportunity to load in your own impulse responses. So say you don't like the cab sounds in here and you've got your own set, put them into the pedal and you're sorted. Now, I'm under no illusions that this is a budget pedal from a budget manufacturer. Um, on this channel, we've become pretty used to kind of high-end stuff, so I wasn't really expecting much from this pedal, admittedly, and when Flammer got in touch in the first place, the cab sim pedal was not the one I wanted them to send me out of their whole range. Like I said, I came into this a little bit with low expectations, and I'll be honest with you, it has surpassed all my expectations. Build quality is decent for a budget pedal, it's a metal enclosure, slightly thinner than maybe we would expect from a boutique manufacturer, but that's completely fine. Jack seems solid, uh, knob seems solid, and the switch also is a nice soft switch that can, has got some momentary functions as well.
because of those stereo ins and outs, this pedal has a ton of uses in different environments. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you two of my favorites, which are, I'm gonna be putting it at the end of a pedal board and using it to basically as an amplitude rig, as the title suggests in this video. <laughs> The other way we're going to show you in this video is using it in conjunction with my Line 6 HX Stomp. Now this is a bit of a funny one because there are good cab sims in the Line 6 Stomp but this is more of a way of showing you how it reacts to preamp pedals and also a little cheat way of showing you what my pretty much my favourite use of this pedal. In a live situation, say you want to use your favourite valve amplifier, go out of the send of your effects loop into here, come out of the left output into the mixing desk and you've got a great front of house sound with uh, the cab sims on board of this pedal. But come out of the right, back into your effects loop and you can turn off the cabs and then just use your amp as sort of on stage monitoring. But I'm gonna show you how this sounds with the Line 6 HX Stomp. I've set up a nice Fender Deluxe preset with a bit of reverb and then we're just gonna go through each and every single cab on here and see how it sounds. <laughs> At the moment, this is on their website for $88. It says it's on sale, but there's no indication of when that sale is ending. But for $88, this is an incredible, incredible bargain. Bargain, because it sounds good. Like, it just does sound good. Yes, it's in a more slightly more budget-friendly enclosure, and it's coming from a more budget-friendly Far Eastern company. But the sounds are there, and really that's what's most important to me.
Thanks guys for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and maybe check out some more. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.